Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. Joining me today from our administration department. Well, I don't know it's a department. It's administration, though. It's Chad Brecklin, the city administrator. What up, Chad? Not too much today, Jeremy. How are you doing? Oh, I'm excited. I'm ready to ready to talk uh, updates of uh, the city. A lot of things happening right now. There and, always and seems to be a lot of things happening. Yeah, a little ice and stuff doesn't slow us down. We still keep going forward. And uh, I, I, first and foremost, uh, I, I think, uh, Chad, we got we got to thank uh, Public Works uh, and our public safety officials uh, for uh, enduring and the residents. We thank you, too. But everybody coming together here in this last uh, storm. What a mess. Yeah, it definitely was uh, was a messy day yesterday, to say, to say the least. I mean, we had a little bit of everything, a freezing rain and thunder and snow and sleet and some wind. And as usual, our public works department was out there keeping our roads safe and uh, getting the roads cleared and salted as quickly as possible. I know they are typically hesitant to use much salt, but clearly yesterday's uh, precipitation uh, necessitated it. And as always, you mentioned our public safety personnel were out uh, keeping our community safe as they always do day in and day out 24 seven 365. And of course, you know, City Hall still kept on trucking. We had work to do here in City Hall as well. And, and, uh, you know, we've got service to provide and business to conduct. Yeah, uh, certainly uh, did. Uh... You know, I, I was a little, you know, sad that I couldn't have a snow day yesterday, Chad, but uh, <laughs> I'll keep that uh, aside for another uh, another day. Uh, but uh, we, we, we definitely do thank everybody and everybody's patience yesterday uh, for everything uh, there. But, uh, you know, for the most part, I think we made through, got through it smoothly, if you will. Um, mm -hmm. First uh, talk, and it's happening tonight, uh, and it, it continues with this investment plan with the ARPA funds and uh, TID closure. Uh, tonight, we're going to be talking about uh, the amendments that came in from our alders. Uh, what do you expect at the meeting tonight? Well, yeah, in our committee of the whole meeting tonight, we will be talking investment plan uh, amendments. Uh, just as a quick recap, the city does have uh, approximately $5 million of money to invest in our community in a variety of different projects and initiatives. That money is approximately $3 million from uh, the federal government through the American Rescue Plan, and then also approximately $2 million from a, a closure of a, of a TIF, uh, TID district, tax increment district over near Verona in the Key and uh, Mayor Richardson has submitted his initial investment plan a couple of weeks ago. We've had a public hearing at uh, the council meeting, I believe, on February 8th. And uh, on February 14th, uh, council members submitted their amendments to the investment plan. And tonight, we'll get to discuss those amendments. I think in total, there were approximately $2 million worth of uh, amendments proposed. Uh, of course, the council will debate those amendments and determine uh, where their priorities lie and, and which uh, of the initiatives the city staff will will be undertaking over the next uh, probably several years, really. I mean, there's there's uh, a lot of things contained in there that uh, certainly we don't have the time and the resources and the capacity uh, to do them all at one, one time. So, and of course, they wouldn't necessarily be done to the standards we might hope or expect as well if we tried to uh, do them all at one time. So, yeah, we'll have Plenty of work in, in amongst our regular duties uh, with these initiatives. And Chad, then moving forward, uh, we'll, it will now move back all the way to March 22nd uh, for uh, the public hearing uh, on the proposed amendments and then uh, discussion and a uh, possible adoption of the investment plan. Uh, after this, uh, if the plan is adopted and stuff, uh, will we see some of these items start to pop up in the CIP process this year and the budget process this year? Um, uh, how does that play out? Yeah, you will likely see some things uh, being added or potentially moved around in the, the CIP process, uh, perhaps even through the operating budget process in 23 as well. And ultimately, for any of the projects or initiatives that we look to begin uh, embarking on in 2022, a budget amendment will be necessary for the council to approve in order to authorize uh, the funding uh, for those particular projects or initiatives that staff is going to begin working on here in 2022. So kind of a combination of things really between uh, an amendment to the existing budget year and then uh, including uh, more planning processes, if you will, in the uh, CIP, Capital Improvement Plan, and other uh, avenues moving forward. 
Yeah, and we'll uh, we'll have that all play out here on Fact TV as it goes along. Uh, it's been a very uh, transparent process uh, as uh, all our processes are here uh, in the mm -hmm. city. So um, thank you for sharing. It's great information to get out there and uh, yeah, stay tuned uh, for that uh, as it plays out here. Uh, turning our attention uh, over to Madison Metro uh, tomorrow night, there'll be discussion, uh, a regional discussion uh, about uh, uh, changes. Tell us just a little bit about uh, what what we should expect from this meeting as far as uh, new routes potentially for the bus. Yeah, the, the proposed route changes have just been released here in the last week or so. So a lot of us are still learning uh, about the routes and, and the, the goals behind those route changes and what some of the positives and some of the, the cons, so to speak, or negatives of uh, those route changes uh, may be. So this is an opportunity, obviously, for the public and particularly those who uh, rely on public transportation or, or otherwise use public transportation provided by Metro to get a good look at what the proposed route changes are, how those may positively or negatively impact them, and then uh, share their feedback uh, as part of the process uh, as the route uh, changes continue to be evaluated. We are told that, that uh, any route changes won't take effect until mid-2023 at the earliest. So there is obviously an opportunity here for folks to, to provide some feedback and input and, and uh, you know, Metro can evaluate those route changes and impacts and determine if they need to make adjustments to what's been, been proposed and then uh, look to communicate finalized routes at some point uh, here in the future that would go in effect uh, likely sometime in the second half of 2023. Awesome. Well, we'll, uh, we'll share those details uh, as they come out. You can check the City of Madison's website uh, and Metro Transit. Uh, I believe that uh, is a hybrid uh, style meeting as well, so you can uh, tune in for that uh, tomorrow night. Finally, mm -hmm. uh, uh, quickly here, uh, parking survey is out there uh, from public I don't want to go public safety, uh, but public works, uh, police department, those sort of things. Um, we want people's input. Yeah, public works and public safety uh, have been looking at our parking ordinances and regulations uh, lately, and this was an opportunity for, for them to put together a survey uh, for our public, our residents, those who live and or work in, and or drive through or otherwise visit Fitchburg and uh, share their feedback on, on our existing regulations and, and some potential modifications that we may need to consider. So again, it's a great opportunity for folks to participate in, in their government uh, and processes. And it does also provide us with an opportunity to, to hear feedback. And then uh, just as importantly, utilize that feedback as we chart a path forward um, with any potential changes. Yeah, and if you missed the first, uh, in, there was a, 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 a public information meeting uh, kind of that kicked this process off. You can catch that video. So if you missed it, kind of curious how we got to the survey part uh, that's uh, in uh, there as well. Chad, thank you so much for your update, sir. Stay safe out there, and we'll look forward to checking in with you next month. Sounds good. Thank you, Jeremy. You bet. Uh, Chad Bracklin, city administrator here for the city of Fitchburg. He's my boss. He's your friend, right? Can we say it something like that? Like Absolutely. <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. All right, we're going <laughs> to take a quick break. You're watching Talking Fitchburg. <laughs>